Scripture declares in Isaiah 54, let's read verse 17. The Word of God says, No weapon yes. that is formed against thee shall prosper. Well, yes. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. Yes. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Yes. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Yes. Today it's important for us to remember yeah. That if we are blood-bought saints of the Most High God, yeah. if we are blood-washed saints of the Lord Jesus Christ, no weapon formed against us shall or can ever prosper. Yeah. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, we shall condemn. Yeah. Yeah. That's telling us that sin cannot yeah. prosper against us. Uh, no matter what the yeah. devil tries to bring against you, the Bible declares, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Yeah. No sin can prosper against you. No matter if it be dust, no matter if it be a heart attack, no matter if it be diabetes, the Bible declares by Christ's stripes we are healed. You see, the blood-washed church of Jesus Christ is supposed to be victorious. Christ said in Matthew 16, Upon this rock right. shall I build my church, Amen. and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Amen. Amen. We are supposed to be taking this world for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. The Lord has planted you in this area of Amen. North Port and Tuscaloosa to do nothing less than to take this area for Jesus. Right. Jeremiah said the Lord called him and set him above the nations and the kingdoms of the earth to pluck up, yeah. to throw down, yeah. to yeah. destroy, to build and to plant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the Lord has you and has me in his kingdom All right. well, yeah. Hallelujah. for such a time as this yeah. 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 to destroy the devil's kingdom yeah. and build the kingdom of God wherever we go. You see, the Bible declares that no weapon All right. that is formed against you and formed against me yeah. can possibly prosper. Yeah. That means in Jesus we are invincible. Yeah. In Jesus we are yeah. indestructible. Yeah. In Jesus we cannot be defeated. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible declares in Psalms yeah. the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Yeah. And the righteous shall run into it and be safe. Yes, Lord. Right. Mark 16 declares, yes. and these signs shall follow. Uh -huh. Then they believe in my name and shall cast out devils. Yes, Lord. If a devil comes against you and me, we cast it out in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Right. You see, it's no problem yes. in these last days. All right. You have spirits of whoredoms running all the place. Yes. In Jesus' name, we just cast them out. Yeah. Right. It doesn't matter the spirits of fear are going all over the place. Yeah. Spirits of infirmity. In the name of Jesus, we take authority over them and cast them out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You see, a walk with Jesus Christ yeah. is a power-filled life. Yeah. A dominion-filled life. Yeah. A victorious life. Yeah. A life in which there is no defeat. Because God's word, which is forever settled in heaven, declares no weapon, not any type of weapon formed against you or me, if we are Jesus Christ, can possibly prosper. The Bible declares we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not the knee. And that word is true. You see, even as Sister Hardy shared in the scripture. Yes. Proverbs 23, 7 declares, as he thinketh yes. in his heart. So All right. All right. If you think that Christian life has any sliver of defeat, yes. that's what you have. That's right. All right. If you think that sin can have dominion over you, it shall. My if you think sickness can have any place, it shall. But if you realize that no weapon is formed can possibly prosper, you'll have victory over it. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ has us in this earth. Amen. To do it here in the earth. The Bible 
1 John chapter 3 verse 8. He that committeth sin is of the devil. Yeah. For the devil sinned from the beginning. Yeah. But for this purpose of the Son of God manifested, yeah. he might destroy the works of the devil. Yeah. Verse 1 and 2 that chapter declares, yeah. Now, beloved, we are the sons of God. Yeah. As Christ's purpose yeah. was to destroy the works of the devil, your purpose and my purpose is to destroy his works as well. Christ went to the cross of Calvary. He took the nails on his wrist. He took the canine tail on his back. He shed his precious blood. He was dead and he rose victorious. And now we're to clean up the spoils. We're to walk in the victory that he won by his death and resurrection. Everywhere we go, we're to be built in the kingdom of God. On your job, you're going to be building the kingdom of God. Yeah. In your neighborhood, yeah. building the kingdom of God. At school, tearing down the devil's works and building the kingdom of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> the scripture would tell us in Isaiah 54, yeah. no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Yeah. All right. Because the devil realizes Christ in us is the hope of glory. He realizes that as Christ destroyed his works when he was on the earth, he through us is destroying those same works. Yeah, yeah. So he will try to form weapons against you. He'll try to form weapons of temptation against you. To get you to sin, leave Christ and go to hell. You know, once saved, all was saved is not in the Bible. Jesus says in John chapter 8, verse 30, and he said to those Jews which believed on him, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples. Amen. We must continue. Amen. He that begun a good work for you shall complete. Yes. But the Bible says we must work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Yes. If it was finished, the minute we repent, I baptize you to stay filled with the Holy Ghost, yes. there'd be no need to work out anything. Right. If it were finished, there'd be no admonition from Christ. Yes. In Matthew 10, 22, but he that shall endure to the end of the same shall be saved. No admonition in Matthew 24, verse 12 and 13, where the scripture declares, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. No weapon for us prosper, we have to endure. You have to endure the temptation of your child. 